name is Tim Anderson. I'm the Boxlight Service Supervisor here. And we're going to show um, the hookup and software installation for our Projector Right 3. This is our projector. And we're just going to go uh, through and show you some of the accessories that you need to hook the system up. Obviously, we need a power cord, USB cable, VGA cable. And then these are the two um, light pin uh, styluses. First one is the pin. And this is our wand. Uh, the pen has a pressure sensitive tip on it, and the wand has a button on its handle to activate an on off function. Okay, we'll explain how those work later. But what we need to do turn the projector around. We're going to be facing our screen over here. We're going to plug the power cord in. And we're going to hook a USB cable up to your laptop. I want to hook the VGA cable up to your laptop. And in this case we're using RGB1. You can use RGB2, but and just plug that in. And that's uh, all you need to do to get the system up and ready. Okay, so we're just going to install the CD into the computer and run the installation software. So we'll show you how that works. Okay, after you've inserted your CD-ROM, you should get uh, the system to pull up the little window that says, do you want to view all files? Once there, you click on Light Pen Software for Windows, and then uh, Set Up All, and this will start the self-installation program. Click Yes. We want to give it the uh, pro authority to go ahead and install that. So this is the installation program. Just go ahead and hit install, next, OK, if you want to select those files, and then the install. OK, once it's done, I'm turning off the automatic start of those two programs, just so I can show you how those work. OK, so now if you notice on your desktop, you have the light pen software um, icon. If you click that, it'll bring up the light pen software um, interaction components but it doesn't actually activate the light pen software itself so I'll show you here in a second we run this bring up the toolbar now I can go up with my mouse and click on the color pen draw with it but my light pen software isn't working yet so we go back to mouse mode and then erase this and we're going to go ahead and exit out of this and we're going to load up what we call the SP3 program, which or the SP driver, which is what activates the light pen uh, camera section of the projector. So scroll down till you find your light pen 3 file or folder, and then we activated the SP uh, program. And now if you notice down on your toolbar, there's a little green or maybe red icon. Um, it's green if it senses that the projector's there. It's red if it doesn't sense the projector. So this is our, our calibration screen and four-point calibration. You just need to touch the circles. There we go. It takes about eight seconds for this process to finish up. And once it gets done, that's, uh, that's about it.